Okay, we're here at um, the pond where I'm clearing out some beaver because uh, their dam was overflowing and overflowing the, the road out there. Now I'm going to take the end of my uh, extension cable and hook it through the end of my snare. Then take the working end of the snare back through my extension cable. And make sure you bring your little plastic attachment whammy. And what happens is these two mesh together like that. And then at the other end, we opened up our loop. I like about a 10 inch loop for a beaver. Now I'm going to get me some wire. Well, like they say it down south where I was from at war. Okay. Cutters back in there. Those things there, lifesaver, that's what cuts your snare cable. They're like about 25 bucks. So you don't want to leave them laying in the leaves. Okay, what we've got here, we've got our snare. A loop about 10 inches for beaver we've got 14 gauge wire doubled and what I'm going to do at the end right about here I'm going to start wrapping the loose end of the wire I'm going to take my pliers and hold this Just keep wrapping the loose end around the snare up until the beginning of my lock. And that will hold the snare and support the snare. I don't like I like my snare to either level or back just a little bit. I don't want the wind blowing and ripping it off. I want about two inches off the ground because the beaver are pretty low. That's about good right there. Okay, of course I've got it cabled to the tree down here low in case he starts chewing on it, trying to get out. Okay, what we've got here, we've got where the beaver is coming out of the water. There's his trail, going up the bank. And it's where those two trees are, I've got a snare.
and I've got it, uh, you can see where he's been working on those upper trees a little bit. I've got a snare there waiting for him. If I don't catch him or them in these other traps, you ought to be in one of these snares. If that ain't enough, got another one in, a small one in the uh, 3.30. Okay, we're here at um, the pond where I'm clearing out some beaver because uh, their dam was overflowing and overflowing the, the road out there. And we're here at the first set, which is a 3.30. And we've got a little beaver in there. So I'm going to go ahead and check the rest of these traps. And then I'll come back and set that. Right over here, we set a snare. And we ended up snaring big one I'd say it's pretty big so in between those two trees right there I went ahead and set a snare it looks like he spilled his caster all back there but anyway there's the trees I set up. There's the beaver. I'm gonna go ahead and tend to him before he breaks this in there. Okay, here's the first beaver. Right on the shoulders. And I want you to look at this cable where it had chewed a little bit more and it been out. Okay, I'm going to set you right back up here while I make this. the new one on Let's see. Take this through there. he's got that sense down tight or she does Open up the snare, about 10 inches, bring this back. Now what I'll do is find some stuff here to block this 
so he goes straight up through. I don't think there are any more big ones in here. If they are, they fool me. <sighs> okay, on to the next one. First, I'll give you a look what it looks like when they approach. Right up through there. Got the third one. This one's in a snare in between these two trees. This is a large one also. Huge one. And he's wrapped up pretty good. I'm gonna slip one around. That is a huge deer. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this snare off of this one. Well, he wrapped himself around the cable, which is good. Both these beavers were still alive, which that's okay. Whenever you wrap your snares up, you don't want to coil them any tighter than the loop you want to make because they tend to follow the memory. And that way, if you do them too small, then the memory could be uh, out of whack. Take some dirt and cover up the blood a little bit. Okay, go ahead and get some blocking. That's nice. Okay, that should be good for that one. I don't believe there's any more big ones in here, but we'll do this here just in case. And now we're here at the foothold. And I've got some bait up here, which is wood chipper. And right here's where the trap was, right in there. And it's gone. I'm gonna pull it up and see.
and another small one. Nice. Put him on this side. Okay, folks, we're here, uh, the last check on this pond, and um, I think we're pretty well done. We may get at least one more little one, but uh, as we get up here to the sets, I'll turn you back on. We're here at the uh, first body grip, 330 Belial. I don't know if you can see, but there's another small one down in there. I'm gonna go ahead and check the rest of the rest of the traps. Let's see if we got any more luck. Get this foothold. Got another one. number six on this place. This is 
second second one I caught in this trap. There you go. Yeah.